Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It literally seems like forever since I've done like a get ready with me or a makeup look and it's Eid today. Hence all the lovely henna. I love Mendy by the way. I also got some Mendy on my face but I managed to make it go lighter with some eye makeup remover so that's a little tip if you ever get Mendy on your face. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to actually get ready today because the whole of Ramadan I've not worn makeup. The most I've worn is a bit of foundation just to cover my eye bags and that's literally it. So I'm really excited to put a full face on, so let's get started. Oh, but just before that, I really hope that you guys had a lovely Ramadan and I hope that you had a beautiful blessed Eid. But let's get started. It's going to be a bit of a chatty get ready with me just because I'm using quite a lot of new products and I just want to tell you about it and sort of my opinions and stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to try to not blabber on too much. <laughs> so I've already put my cream on and I'm just going to put my simple eyes on because obviously the hormone that I hardly had any sleep so I need to do something about these dark circles. And I'm going to prime my face with my new priming souffle which I mentioned in my last sort of vlog video. I actually really love this primer, it feels so 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 nice on the skin, it literally just glides on. I'm gonna actually wear my MAC foundation today because I've got a really bad tan and the Huda one I think is gonna look end up looking way way too white on me. I actually don't want to wear so much foundation today because it's really warm outside, it's really humid so I'm gonna try to opt for like a bit of a, a lighter face. Who, who am I kidding? I'm just gonna end up putting a big face on. I know that a lot of you like say that I don't blend my foundation down to my neck and the reason for that is because I wear a full head scarf I feel like I don't really need to um, I do blend it just down to here but I feel like I don't need to blend it all the way down to my neck because it's not actually showing you know now that I'm comparing the MAC to the Huda one it's so much lighter even though it's like even though it's really good coverage it's just so much lighter on the face like the Huda just feels so heavy always and I really don't like that. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer and just conceal under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my chin, you know. The good stuff. So I get a few messages about where I got my eyebrows done and I don't actually do my eyebrows. I just bleach around it. So I don't actually do my eyebrows, I just do the middle. I wax the middle and I bleach around the rest of it. So if you wanna see a video on that, then you know, just comment below and let me know. I feel like I've forgotten how to wear makeup because I haven't worn it in so long, it's been mad. Powder my face with my Charlotte Tilbury, but not under my eyes because I'm going to set my eyes. So I don't really leave the powder on my face, I take it off and I just sort of set it in because I get a lot of creases under my eyes, so that's the reason that I do it. Um, it still looks really white on camera, but in real life it's actually sort of blending in. But obviously you want your under eyes to be bright, but as soon as I add like my blush and all that kind of stuff, it's going to all blend in anyway. So for my eyes, I want to use my new um, Naked palette because I'm going to do sort of like neutralish eyes and then maybe like a bold lip. So I'm just going to go in with this colour which is Hot Spell. Yeah. What I'm going to do is just line my top lid and a bit of my lash line with my Urban Decay version eye pencil just to sort of give it like a look an eyeliner because I really can't be asked to wear eyeliner right now and I know it's just not going to work out for me. Then I'm just going to put a bit of glitter on the middle of my eyes. I 
And my outfit is actually forest green and pink, so I want to put some green into my eyelids. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line my bottom lash lashes with a dark green sort of eyeshadow. And for that, I've got this. Um, it's like clear gel eyeliner, and you basically can put it on any eyeshadow and pick it up and sort of use it. I'm now going to use a gold eyeliner on my waterline. Right, eyes done, I'm going to contour my face and I'm using my standard contour palette. How nice is this little benefit blusher that my sister got? It's so cute. Gosh, it feels so weird seeing myself with makeup on after so long. So now that that's all done, I'm just gonna put on some box lashes off camera. And the ones I'm gonna wear are these. Are Dell Wispies that I actually picked up from Primark for four pounds, and I'm just going to put them on with my Duo glue, which is in the colour black. I'm going to put it on off camera because I feel like it's going to take ages because it's been a while, and I'll be back to the rest of my face. So after a lot of attempts and a long time later, finally got my lashes on. So I'm just going to put mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So I don't really want to go for such a bright bold lip because I did that last Eid so I want to go for like a pinkish nude not like a nude but I don't know I'm just gonna like yeah, I'm just gonna mix some colours together basically gonna mix this in with my Lolita if I can find it I'm just gonna put this on as a base because you always kind of need to put something on and do liquid lipsticks, otherwise, I feel like they get really, really dry and ugly. But I don't really want to go for such a bright, bold lip. I don't want to go for such a bright, hot pink lip, so I'm gonna put my lead on top. Last but not least is my eyebrows, which you've seen me do a million times. So, you know, we'll just skip that step. But I'm basically just going to use my brow satin on my eyebrows, which I'm going to do, and then check back in with you. Yep, so I've filled in my eyebrows now, and I'm going to do my final few bits, which is highlight with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. You all know how popping this is. This needs to be on my face. And you can never tell when, when you've got enough on. Damn. Now that my face is all done, I'm just gonna set it with my Revolution Pro spray. And then I'm gonna get ready. This is my completed Eid makeup look with my earrings on. I've got my bangles on, my jewellery done. I need a ring for this hand maybe, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to actually do my scarf yet. So you get ready with me. I will show you separate footages of my outfit and everything. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do my scarf just yet because I want to show my earrings off. But I need to figure that out. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you had a lovely day. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.